Hi guys, I'm going to show you how I like to weight my paddle. I've just received the amazing new Halo from Selkirk. Um, I was already playing with that. It only came out um, just at the end of last year, 2022. And this is the newer version with the brown trim, which is pretty awesome. Pretty excited to try it. So um, weighting a paddle, I'll just take this plastic off while I'm talking, is kind of a personal thing. Everybody's different. For me, coming from a tennis background, I'm used to obviously having... A longer racket uh, and more weight so um i like to put more weight on the end of my paddle which kind of makes it a little bit more similar to tennis it's easier to get top spin i also play singles and doubles um some people have a different weighted paddle for each game i've decided to weight mine in a way that uh, gives me kind of optimum benefit for doubles and singles so you can just see the outline here i've covered it in electrical tape um I place this thick strip here at the bottom which gives more stability to the paddle and then at the top I've got a nice long strip which is going to help me get that paddle speed and accelerate through the ball when I'm playing singles. So I found that this kind of configuration for me really um, suits the best for an all-round game. It gives me good control um, when I'm up at the kitchen and I'm dinking the ball but it also allows me to take nice long um, kind of tennis style ground strokes when I'm playing singles. Um, so I'll just show you how I go about it. Now, usually I just use my old paddle for reference um, instead of actually measuring it. You might have a mark on your paddle, which some people do, um, where you can kind of start it off. Mine on this side is in line with the L on control, and then it runs to about um, a centimeter from the handle edge. So that's kind of how I measure it. I just run it round. Go with the general measurement and cut. And then instead of measuring again on the paddle, I just lay another strip down. Now what's interesting is that the new halo has got a brown guard on the outside, which is going to look interesting with my black electrical tape. I, I like the brown. It's awesome. But um, I might have to try and find some brown tape. If anybody knows where I can get some, let me know in the comments. Okay, so just stick that on, make sure it's smooth. Try and center it. It's not as easy. It depends on the thickness of the tape that you're using. And then flip the other side. Again, as I say, I measure about a centimeter. I just do that by eye, which is the easiest way of doing it. Make sure it's pushed all the way down because when it's hot, especially um, for me living out here in California, when it's hot, everything starts to peel off. So you really need to make sure it's pushed down flush to the edge. And then the same for the top. Now I like to kind of go from about, I guess, 10.30, 11 o'clock, all the way around to like 1 or 1.30 on the other side. So it's a pretty long strip. But as I say, that gives me that extra weight to really whip through the shot, which I like. Um, I've tried so many configurations, and I've just found that this is the one that works the best for me. Um, again, you can measure on your paddle kind of where it starts. Mine is about a centimeter from the K on the SLK. So, I'll just copy that on this side. That's about a centimeter from the edge of the K. And stick it all the way around. You might have to refresh every now and then. I find that um, with mine, I have to change it out every few weeks because especially if I'm playing singles and kind of running to scrape balls down, you end up with this kind of thing happening. You can see on the end of this paddle where it's you've hit the ground with the paddle and it starts to wear away. So I like to definitely refresh my electrical tape probably every week or so and then they change out the lead as well, especially if it starts to peel. So just for the purposes of this video, until I find some brown tape, I'm going to stick uh, this around. Some people like to leave it there. For me, this is actual lead tape, so which is obviously toxic. So I don't like to be touching it. And then obviously make sure that you wash your hands after you touched it. Certainly don't put them in your mouth. <laughs> um, 
it's not so easy depending on the thickness of your paddle to align it. I like to kind of stretch mine a bit like when you're putting on an overgrip, which I will also do a demo of. And then push all the way down. I like to just overlap mine ever so slightly on the end. These are nail scissors, by the way. I carry these in my bag. It's easy to, to then make any adjustments if you're out and about. And that's it. Not sure, sure about the black on the brown, but perfect for the waiting. Okay, now I'm going to add my overgrip, which I always do. Now, what I used to do on my tennis rackets, which I still do actually, um, is I actually take the base grip off and I have two overgrips instead of one regular thick grip and an overgrip. For me, it just gives makes the grip a little bit thinner, which again is easier for topspin. Um, but it also allows for more feel um so i start mine with the thin end um some people like to start with the thick and then stick it down the top i just use my scissors so i start with the thin end like so roll around pull it nice and tight if you pull it too loose and if you're moving your hand around a lot on the handle what's going to happen is um the edges will come apart and you'll have a gap between the grip these are the selkirk grips they're great. I like the tackiness because I have quite dry hands. I don't sweat a lot. So these kind of help me keep the paddle nice and tight in my hand when I'm playing. And these Selkirk Halos are great because it's got the rubber um, kind of holder at the top that helps hold the grip in place too. So I kind of use my best judgment. When I get to the top here, I pull maybe like an inch or two. And then I just cut down like so. These are kind of tricky, the sticky parts, just pull them over, peel off. Again, if you're in the heat, it's not quite easy to do because everything kind of melts and gets sticky. Luckily, it's only February when I'm making this, so it's not too hot yet. <laughs> okay, pull it tight, make sure it's tight all the way around to the bottom. And then stick around. I change my grip um, every tournament day because I like it to stay tacky. Um, if I'm practicing, I change, I would say, once every couple of days. Uh, so I go through a lot of grips. Same for tennis. Um, I probably change every two days for tennis when I'm coaching. Um, and every time I play a match, I also change. Um, so give it a try. If you are interested in testing out any of the Selkirk products, um, you can get a gift card with an order if you use my link. I'd really appreciate that. The uh, link in the bio, and you can get a gift card up to $40, um, which you can then use as a credit in the store. Give it a try.